Good morning. So it's Monday, the 20th of November 2023, and I'm starting to now get in the habit of recording videos daily, really based on whatever's on my mind or how I'm feeling on a daily basis. I was doing these just on Sundays, but I thought, why not demonstrate the consistency that I have every day and talk to you guys every single day and give you some form of gem or, or words of wisdom? So one of the things that was going through my mind right now is I look at my clock and it's 7.30 on the dot right now on Monday. And people often ask me, Alex, what has underpinned your successes, where you've been able to get ahead? And I've got my track suit on right now because I'm about to go to the gym. And I was thinking to myself, well, what has my day looked like up until this point? So I woke up around 6 a.m., I meditated for 12 minutes, taken my probiotics. I have then studied for about 45 minutes, so watched some educational content, and then I've done some work for in and around 35 minutes or so. So my laptop's right there, and I already made a start on a couple of the most important tasks that I had for the day. Now I'm getting ready, well, I'm ready to go to the gym. I'll then come back and, and get straight back to it. I just Googled what is the average time that someone wakes up in the UK. It's out of interest. And the first article says that the average person wakes up at 6.47 a.m., but they stay in bed rolling around until 7.12 a.m. So if we think about that, right, someone's woken up at pretty much quarter to seven. By the time they've actually gotten up, it's half an hour later. And then once they've actually gotten out of bed and shaken off the cobwebs and whatever else is the case, they're then going to roll into their morning routine and their day, likely to get ready to, to kickstart whatever they need to do by 9am. And then I looked at my same situation and I said, well, by that same scenario, when someone else is pretty much just starting their day and just getting out of bed and just getting ready to rock and roll, I've already meditated, I've already studied, I've already gotten through a couple of highly important tasks and I'm already ready to go downstairs and train. And so when you start to look at the difference between those that are able to go and achieve great things, demonstrate that they're able to become best in class in their field, success leaves clues, right? And one of those clues is the fact that while everyone else is sleeping, you have the opportunity to get ahead. While everyone else is doing what the average person does, right? Which is getting up a little, well, I guess at the average time in the UK, you have the opportunity to get up an hour before. You have an opportunity to start before. And when you start to look at people who have become best in class in their field, one of the most common traits I see is they tend to start early and they're doing more than their competition. Um, Floyd Mayweather is a great example. He's known to, when he was at the peak of his career, he trained three times a day. And often he was actually training late at night when people were sleeping. And so you can either be an early riser or maybe you find that you have more energy a bit later in the day. But you've got to do things to get ahead of, of others, right? If you're just doing what everyone else does, you're giving yourself the same limited amount of time in the day to drive impact. Now, I know that I have a lot more energy in the daytime and in the morning than I do at night. So I optimize for that. And I say, well, instead of waiting to the evening to get ahead, why don't I get ahead to start my day? So by the time, as I said, everyone else is waking up, I'm already significant steps ahead. Now, think about your own situation and your own setup. You know, when do you have the most energy? Is it in the mornings? Is it in the evenings? What can you do to just extend yourself an additional hour so that while everyone else is asleep and not got much going on, you're already ahead? The other reason this is so important and actually can be incredibly valuable is because it's quiet, right? And so once I'm up and have already started my routine, because people are sleeping, there's just less distractions. So if you're studying, you can be more studious. If you are working, you're able to get ahead without tons of things hammering you at the time. And so 
just really think about that, right? This is an opportunity to get ahead. Mornings for me are the best opportunity to get ahead. And so take advantage of that extra time. Do what is necessary to put yourself in a separate bracket from everyone else. And um, yeah, just get after it, right? As always, keep climbing, climbing. Have an incredible Monday and I'll see you tomorrow.